We're back with uh, GOMO News on Wheels, live from CTIA, last day of the conference. Um, and this is Debbie Jones. I'm joined by Dan Olschlein from JumpTap. Thanks for coming by. A lot louder. There you go. Thank you for inviting. Um, so I understand that you guys had some really, at least two, really exciting announcements. Uh, let's, let's, well, wait. Tell us what JumpTap is, what it does, and then we'll talk about your announcement. So what JumpTap does is uh, white label, mobile search and mobile advertising. So we do is we provide the mobile carriers uh, on one hand with a search box that they can present us under their own brand, provide full search experience um, as you would expect, and also has the whole uh, search advertising component add to it to monetize the traffic. Um, and we expanded that to uh, encompass all formats uh, of mobile advertising. So we stand today with actually the full set of mobile advertising formats available in the market uh, running on a single platform. And the advantage of it is that it runs on a single platform, which means you can cross target, cross utilize, um, and create a useful type of advertising uh, and user experience. So when you say mobile uh, advertising format, what do you mean? What is that? So, you know, utilizing SMS for advertising, utilizing banner ads on the mobile uh, phone, uh, sponsored links, uh, in-game advertising, uh, sponsorships, uh, basically anything uh, that transitions money from the brand to traffic owner. So let's move on and talk about your announcements this week. Yeah, so one of the, um, uh, we announced this week basically two major deals. Uh, uh, one is and selected, uh, selected us, selected jumped up as uh, the exclusive third party advertising partner, uh, which means that we will be the only entity that will outside the NBC itself to sell advertising on mobile properties. Amazing. Um, and this, the second, or they're not, not the second, but the other uh, announcement that uh, we did is a similar deal with Fox Um Together they comprise the majority of content uh, creator uh, in North America. That's a pretty, uh, I would say, even an industry shaping kind of uh, deal. What you see is how the big publishers make a real strong move towards uh, mobile content, mobile publishing, and mobile advertising. That's amazing. So you guys will be responsible for selling the advertising, but they'll still have agencies that do the creative. Yeah, we 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 don't we work with the agencies or with the creative shops. We don't do the creative ourselves. Um, we we manage the advertising execution. So uh, we help them sometimes in shaping the campaign just because at this point we're probably the best experts uh, around um, in what works and what doesn't. We see all the formats. We work in North America. We work in Europe. We see um, different types of campaigns, different types of products. Uh, different things work for different products. So we have very good visibility. We have great people. So uh, we help navigate through this process, but the reality is the creation of the campaign is not, uh, we don't try and make that our business. So we much rather educate the agencies and the whole ecosystem rather than do it themselves. What phone do you carry in your pocket? What's your personal phone? Unfortunately. Unfortunately, this is your phone, right? Yeah, well, I call it the modern handcuffs. <laughs> That's a slavery device. The crackberry. Device. The crack area. Everybody's yeah, addicted to the crack area. Okay, we've reached the end of one. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to start with part two in just a minute.